Here we go. Big breath in. <clears throat> well, that one you could hear. <laughs> Did you hear that? And I'm gonna lift the shoulder. Got it. Wait one more. There it goes. This is Dr. Doug Willen. Thanks for joining us today. Today I'm at Rising Star Horse Rescue in Connecticut. It's about an hour from where I live. This is my third time here and today I'm back. I'm going to see a few horses today that you'll get to see in coming weeks as separate videos. Rising Star currently has somewhere between 25 and 30 horses and some of them they adopt out. Some get to live their lives here for the rest of their lives. They have both surrender and rescue horses here. They also do riding lessons for children and adults and they have a great volunteer program. So if you are interested in donating to them or getting any of their merchandise, their URL or web link is in the description box below. So check it out. Uh, it's just a beautiful place and I'm glad to be here volunteering again. So who do we got first, Sam? Jalgert, 25, a Stenger side, Belgian warm blood. So Gallagher, he's a Belgian warm blood, and he's 25 years old. And what else do we know? That he is a Stenger All right, Sam is gonna be my assistant right now. And Sam, a couple of little things. First, let's bring Gallagher by here, almost like we were gonna mount him. And does he do, does he take riders or is he, he just- He does, and he also jumps a little. Wow, not bad for a 20 year old, right? But I want him to see the box. So walk him around again. So here we are at Rising Star Horse Rescue today. I'm Dr. Doug Willen, and thank you and welcome. Uh, you might know me through my human channel, House of Cairo, where I work on humans, but um, today we're obviously not working on humans, we're working on horses. And um, one of the things I wanna do first is just let Gallagher look at this box, because there might be a time during the treatment that I have to get up on the box to get into uh, looking at his, uh, hind end, uh, possibly a lumbar adjustment if, if needed. Um, and when I start working, Sam, mm. uh, resist uh, touching Gallagher or petting him and let him just process. We're standing right next to a big pile of poop here. You can see that. So we're going to move just a little bit to a area where I just don't immediately step in manure. Hey, so can I work on you today? What do you think about that? So let's look, let's just take a look at his hoofs first. Um, you know, his hoofs uh, come up kind of tall. One of the things I like to look at also is the spacing here, come down here between here and the, and the hairline on both sides. Um, He's got some shoes on the front. I haven't seen the back. Um, and I'm just taking a quick peek, looking at his shoulders, um, coming down the back. I mean, he has a beautiful coat. Did you notice, Sam? He does. Yeah, for an older horse, just beautiful. And I'm just letting him get a sense of me right now. And he's, his head in his top line is nice and relaxed. He's feeling comfortable enough to, um, you know, just loosen up around me. I'm trying not to rush things. I'm trying to just let him uh, feel me a little bit, get a sense of my body, um, you know, coming around, just feeling his muscles, scratch him a little bit. Yeah. Does he like belly scratching? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm on this side. There. Step away so give him space. Yeah. 
Well, I'm feeling up here at the withers, and you're gonna when when we get started now, we're gonna have you um, give him enough handling so he doesn't drift too much. Looking at his back hoofs, I'm looking at you know whether he's camped under or not, which he isn't. He seems pretty has uh, you know seems pretty good. He's a little narrow in the rear base. Um, but it could also just be the way he's standing. I haven't really got a chance to see him yet. Um, bring him back around again, Sam, and we're going to bring him over here. We'll keep the light behind the camera and let's turn him around. So facing the camera. Okay. So turn him around again. All right. So now we're going to get started. So I'm going to first feel a little bit around the atlas. He's a little tight on the left atlas where the wing of the atlas is a little tighter. On the right I can get easily two fingers that just sit flat right here, right in here. And on the left, here, let's see if we can go look. So we're going to just keep switching sides, Sam. Mm -hmm. And the left, it's just a little tighter. Now. I can get them there, but it's just a little overlapped. And that means that the atlas is a little closer to the wing of the ramus of the jaw of the mandible. But I'm going to leave that for a second. It really isn't that bad. Let me see if there's any tension up here at the pole. Can I touch your pole for a second? Hey, this is Dr. Doug Willen. This is my Collagen for Horses product. It's 100% collagen. It's American made. You put a little bit in the horse's food every day and you're going to see a difference in the coat, in the teeth, the hoofs, the connective tissue, muscle ligaments. It's good for that older achy horse, but it's also good for a developing horse that's growing into its adult body. Give it a try. A little sensitivity there. I'm feeling spacing. I'm feeling the um, muscles that come off the occiput and touch the atlas, which is the first bone. I'm feeling for tension up there. I'm also feeling how he's reacting. I'm watching the set of his ears. I'm watching his eyes blink. I'm watching his nostrils. I'm coming down now and I'm feeling some of his neck muscles coming down the vertebras C2, C2 through C, T, uh, C7 and looking for something that might be off. Feeling a little bit right there. That would be C6. So let's start with just massaging it. I'm going to hold that. I'm putting about as much pressure on that that if you had a grape on your kitchen table and you started pushing down into that grape, but you didn't want to burst it. That's as much pressure as I'm putting on this muscle right now. Not a lot. Um, give me a little more slack, Sam. And I'm going to gently cradle his face and bring him towards me a little bit. And I'm bringing him towards me because I want to get a little bit of lateral flexion going, holding that muscle, holding the muscle. I'm trying to get that muscle to release a little bit and I'm still on the spot. Taking a breath. There it is. A little more. His eyes are softening a little bit. Let's bring his head down. Let it release. Let it release. Good. And we see the licking and chewing. So the licking and chewing is a good sign. It's, it's a stress relieving sign. It's a relaxation. It's an integration of the parasympathetic nervous system, integrating some of the work. And we didn't thrust. We didn't do any big chiropractic move, but we just started to release some stuff. And this is already softened. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep working now, OK? Now I'm going to go back to the atlas. Let's bring him around a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do a little atlas adjustment. 
doesn't need a lot. Let's square them up a little bit. Good. I'm going to get your atlas if that's okay. Got it. And let them integrate that. So don't touch them though, okay? Sam? Just enough slack so he could think about that. I don't know about you guys, but I would call that licking and chewing. That's a licking and chewing moment. Taken to a new height. Thanks, Gallagher. Let's see the spacing though. Okay, let's re revisit that spacing. Gallagher, just come this way. Look, and now they easily fit in. Can you see that? Easily fit in. So now I'm going to get under him and feel both sides coming down. And I feel a big misalignment at C3 on the right. So I'm going to get that next. So come around this way and we'll do that one next. Okay, let's just reset. And it's right here. So again, come here. And my thumb's on that space, but you could be on his face for a minute. Let's just watch him. Come on, come this way. And I'm on a wicked muscle knot. Good, a little more. A little more bite. There you go. Give him a second. I might want to adjust that with a chiropractic type of adjustment, but that was first just a massage. Okay. I'm watching his top line. His top line is pretty relaxed. He just let out a little flatulence. That's always nice. So this is just an adjustment right here. So I'm gonna turn him towards me Move in position to watch this with the camera. Got it. Thank you. Good to see you. All right, so I just adjusted C3 on the right. Let's uh, give him a second to think about that. And then we're going to keep working. Just let him feel that. <laughs> And there's the licking and chewing. Good. So let's stop them up there. I'm feeling the packs coming down the leg. You can come around this way if you want. Looks good. I mean, he's, he's, his hoofs are in pretty good condition. Come around this way. I'm just feeling the pastern, short pastern, long pastern. Bring his leg out a little bit. Here's the frog. The frog looks healthy. The sole looks healthy. You know, this is a 20 year old horse and is in good shape. The sulcus here is strong. It's not mushy. So he's got some relatively very healthy legs. Let's bring this leg out forward a little bit at a time. Stretching it, stretch, stretch, and putting it down.
Let's look at the front left next, okay? So we're gonna switch sides, Sam. Camera come all the way around this way. I'll wait till he squares up. Let, let him settle in. You know, I'm still looking, the, the front, the, the base looks kind of standard and nice in the front, but the, um, Again, that's a good foot. The sole is nice. The frog is nice. It's built up. The heels aren't. Uh, the heels are. You know, this is this is good. They are just opening this up a little bit. It's clicking. D. Can you hear that click? Cracking a little bit. I'm gonna, this one I'm going to bring out a little bit. So I'm abducting and I'm gonna actually do a shoulder on this one so what I do is I crisscross my arms and I'm gonna lift the shoulder got it wait one more there it goes got it and that was a good one. All right, we're gonna keep going now. Feeling down the back. I can even feel the texture of the hair change over a misalignment. It'll get a little bristly sometimes. Coming down, I'm feeling without looking because I can see better if I don't look. Right here is one. So we have seven cervicals, so does a horse. We have 12 thoracics, but most horses have 18. Arabians, I can't remember if they have 17 or 19. Someone can remind me about that in the comments. And they have six lumbars, and we have five. And here's a thoracic one. As far as the saddle goes, this would be towards the end of the saddle, and there's a little misalignment here. It's slightly towards my side, so I'm going to adjust it right from where I am. Here we go. Big breath in. You ready, sir? Got Mr. Gallagher. And I'm just gonna push the spinus from left to right. Got it. And you'll see, he'll react to that. How's that, Gallagher? I'm feeling under here. All right, I feel the pack is feels good. I'm watching his breathing, belly breathing. I'm under here in the iliopsoas. Feeling his quads, hamstrings. Feeling the fibers of the hamstrings. Do they feel normal? Do they feel too tight? Again, just checking everything. Now his sacrum feels off. And let's look at him from the back end too. So I'm gonna step away. You see me all the way away. Now, he's got a right AS ilium. So I'm gonna adjust the ilium next on the right. And before I do, and I think that will straighten out his base too. I'm gonna to wait till he leans into me. But I might just hold this for a second. And he knows what I'm doing already. He's, he feels my pressure and he's putting, taking weight off that back foot, which is nice. So I'm waiting for the weight to come up one more time. No, I wasn't ready that time. And here we go. There we go, got it. All right, Gallagher, I just got your right AS ilium. Think about that for a second. But then we'll go around and we're gonna look at your back end. I think that's gonna level it out for you, okay? Give me a second. Okay, yeah. So come back around with the camera here.
And we're again looking at the levelness of here. But he still has a sacrum out. So let's bring him around the box. So I'm still seeing a little low on that side. Let's bring him around to the box. And I'm going to step on this box and do probably what we'll end on today, which is going to be a little bit at the sacral base posterior. I can't tell whether it's right or left till I'm up there. Well, maybe I could. I suspect it already. I suspect it on this side. From what I saw, that's why I suspect it. So I do, um, let's see if I can bring up, up here. And I'm going to work quick because he might not want me up here too long. Here we go. Big breath in. <clears throat> well, that one you could hear. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's a little clunk. All right. All right, let's walk him around one more time. Just could do a nice little circle. All right, a little slack here. So I think we're finished today. That's all we're going to do. Let me check your here. You can relax on that, make it soft. TMJ looks good. Hold on now. Okay. All right. Thanks for letting me work on you today. That was Gallagher, everybody. Leave him a comment. He reads his comments and wish him a nice, successful, um, life here at this uh, horse rescue place. Thank you. Here we go. Big breath in. <clears throat> well, that one you could hear. <laughs> Did you hear that? And I'm going to lift the shoulder. Got it. Wait one more. There it goes. Got it. <clears throat> 